Welcome to a new unboxing. This time we have the Camaro 1969 Chevy Camaro from Lucy. Let's see what's in the box. Beautiful, very nice, beautiful. Look how that is looking right there. Wow, it's so amazing when you can see the scale type with the real one. And of course, it's obviously pinned on onto the box. So how do we open this now? Okay, so we got the control oh very very small compared to what we had before so where does the battery what is fits okay um for well, the battery well, there must be a part for the battery what's this here Oh, okay. Compared to all the uh, controllers that we had before, this is a new one. <laughs> First time I'm actually experiencing this one. Ah, very different. I suppose. Man, I don't like how this set up. Okay, so judging from this, I can reckon that whoever would have designed this must have either had some form of military background or some some weapon something because the way it's shaped is like what do you do click pull out you load the cartridge um put back and then then what do you do wraps okay guys sorry this is a first for me and um it looks and feels and load more like a weapon. But anyway, let's get back to this. This looks really nice. So if we were able to get... Oh, so there are stuff inside of it. Oh, wow. First time I'm actually getting a remote with batteries included. And it's interesting. OC did well to provide a battery in the package. And of course, this is a manual, cool stuff. So I need to get rid of this. Okay, so there is no, no other stuff inside here. So I suppose well, I got my cutting pliers. Uh, let's see how to get this. Okay, so I was able to get one. And uh, how do we get to the next one now? Guys, this is, you know what? Let me just take it from here. Okay. So, that's what it looks like. Make sure there's nothing else in the box. Has a very nice weight. Uh, there's a plastics on it here, which we can take out. Wow, the smell of a new car. I like the way it is design. It's like the real deal. Okay. So let's see what under the hood. Take off the, the pins. Pins are always. I don't like. The pins on to, with the RFCs. I don't know. Maybe I might change this to a magnetic mount eventually, because it's always a challenge to get the pins up. Whoa. Okay. So bad news. This one pitched somewhere. Where did it go? 
have to look for it. Okay, there's another one. Before I would have used you know some strings onto the clips, but it makes it look ugly. Alright, so they're on reveal and they're revealing. Wow, okay, so this shows that um there are lights. Okay, very nice. So we have lights, which is important because if there was no lights, I was going to put on my own light. So this is what it looks like. A closer look at the chassis. Like I said, it has a good weight. Wheels look rubby, sticky, very nice. So it's just to charge it up and see what it, it really runs like. But overall, I'm, I'm satisfied. The body looks very um, scale has the mirrors I'm going to put uh, an interior inside I don't like to see all these cables everything has to look real so what 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 else am I going to do to it I'm, maybe I might just leave it like that because it sort of looks low um, maybe lift the back I, I, I normally like my cars to have a extra you know height in the back it make it look more beastly all right um let's do a quick size comparison to see what it look like together with the um the dodge the dodge challenger this is the dodge challenger that i i bought not too long ago and if we do a comparison we'll see what both of them looks like so what do you think i i remove the clips off of the um the Dodge Challenger and I put the magnetic mount. So two one scale, uh, sorry one ten scale together. Of course the Dodge looks a bit higher because I would have lifted. it. We do a comparison in terms of on the side. Yes, I put broader tires on the on the Dodge also. I'm not sure if I may put broader tires on this, but. Of course, I will want the, the back to give a little projection up. And um, yeah, so that's what it looks like. So I'll probably do a video with two of them racing together and see what's the outcome. Once again, thanks for viewing. And remember, subscribe, like, and share.